We have new exclusive reporting tonight into why so many of the district's kids are skipping school. When the pandemic hit, schools spent millions of dollars to get students online. But investigative reporter Mitch Blocker uncovered no one checked if these kids were actually participating in online classes. And when schools reopened, a lot of kids didn't come back to class. As the pandemic closed schools and sent students online, there was a scramble to get them computers and internet access. Inside the Capitol building, Congress agreed to pay for all of it. In March 2020, the Fed started sending the first of $190 billion to schools across the country. In the nation's capital, D.C. public schools cut was more than $300 million. There actually is a list of the way the funds were to be used. At the top of that list, keep students engaged. During that entire year, I just couldn't focus. Students told us it was a lot to ask. There were definitely days where I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't go to class. Account records show DC public schools spent millions buying data plans, mobile hotspots, and thousands of computers in 2020. Education finance experts told us it was vital to see if all that money was actually keeping students engaged and learning. Districts right now in the middle of the school year should be figuring out if their investments are working. But in the pandemic's early days, D.C. Public Schools says no one tracked student homework or participation. The 7 News I team used the Public Records Act to get pandemic response oversight records, including this student participation and remote learning checklist. D.C. Public Schools says it did not track student assignments or participation. It only checked student logins once a day. Our rebound from the pandemic is not a one year, a two year, it's a multi year effort. That is what DC School Chancellor Lewis Farabee told us in 2022 as we investigated how DC schools spent pandemic relief money and how school leaders were tracking the money's impact. Today, we can see why keeping kids engaged was so important. Before the pandemic in 2017, 18, and 19, about a quarter of DC's school students were chronically absent. According to the U.S. Department of Education, when full-time in-person classes resumed in 2022, almost 44 percent, nearly 40,000 D.C. students, missed at least a month or more of class. School attendance is now such a problem in the nation's capital, the mayor is pushing a new law to fix it. It includes how we are able to hold parents accountable for the actions of their kids. Um, and when I say that, that means require them to get the services that they need. Standing by the mayor's side, D.C. School Chancellor thinks attendance and engagement will bounce back. So we anticipate that we'll continue to make strides in those areas, and I wouldn't be surprised to see pre-pandemic numbers come out of the end of this school year. The end of the school year also means the end of all of that pandemic support money. And here in D.C., the school district has been busy spending their share. This year, their account records show they've already asked for $187 million in reimbursements from Congress. And most of that money, it's going to accelerational learning loss. That is specifically to get students engaged in learning again. It's the latest in Washington. For the IT, I'm Mitch Blocker, 7 News.